Hi, I'm Erica, and this is my letter to the editor today, April 5th, 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic is a time for leadership, not retaliation. And yet President Trump's decision to remove Captain Brent Crozier from the USS Theodore Roosevelt after Crozier sent an email requesting assistance for his crew is exactly that. In his message, Captain Crozier expressed concern for his crew members in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. In tightly packed living quarters, Navy personnel are unable to maintain the CDC's recommendation of physical distancing. When tested, over 100 crew members came back positive, including Captain Crozier himself. His crew celebrated his bravery as he was escorted off the ship. Journalists are not spared from Trump's wrath, particularly when quoting the president himself. Yamichi Alcidor made headlines following a coronavirus task force press conference in which she asked the president about statements he made on Fox News' Hannity show. Be nice, he admonished the veteran reporter who works for PBS and previously worked for the Washington Post, later referring to her as threatening and snarky. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the medical expert on Trump's COVID-19 task force, received death threats after he confirmed the virus, conservatively estimated to cause 100,000 deaths across America, creates its own timeline rather than respecting Trump's calendar. Dr. Fauci now has police protection at all times, even surrounding his home in Washington, D.C. Our national leaders are failing to comfort and protect us and instill point fingers and play the blame game. The former would comfort us, the latter only diminishes our hope and faith.